Call to order the August 10th, 2015 meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board being recorded by ACMI. First on our agenda this evening is uh, our input to the Sol Board of Selectmen uh, regarding a response to mass housing as far as the Oak Tree Muger proposal and what's been circulated this evening is a draft letter that's been prepared to go to the Board of Selectmen to have their meeting on uh, August 12th. We'll just start with you, Bruce, and see whether you have any comments here. Um, so I've quickly scanned through the red line that Andrew uh, has prepared, and uh, they look like uh, good edits. I think they make a lot of sense. Um, I haven't had a chance yet to read through what we <coughs> just received, which is the uh, redrafting of um, Section 8, I Section guess, eight. Of, the, of the letter. Um, so I'll, I'll read that, uh, you know, while other people Which I'm doing right mention. Now. <laughs> um, I also distributed uh, a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's preamble or, or if it can find a home someplace else in the letter, if, if the board sees fit. I wanted to give a little bit of historical yeah. overview sure. of, yeah. okay. of the site because I think it's important to understand what Alewife floodplain once was. Um, and to show how impacted it's been over the last, uh, well, really during the industrial phase uh, of, of our history, um, and how much of the wetlands area has been reduced, um, since I think that really speaks to the issue about the area for flood control. Uh, it's also a habitat area. Um, and I also wove in, although it's already in the letter, uh, a little bit more com comment about combined sewer overflows in Cambridge, which uh, handle runoff in periods of high uh, rain uh, uh, fall, uh, which uh, unfortunately combines rainwater runoff in the single pipe with sewage and um, wastewater, uh, which would flow into Alewife Brook and further impact the area. Um, so if, you know, the board feels that that's relevant, um, it, it could find a home in the letter. But I think otherwise it's a, it's a very good letter. I did have one sort of fact-checking thing I wanted to ask uh, about, and that is in item section 5, the last sentence where it says the Arlington Housing Authority owns 716 buildings. That's the it, one. I think it should be units. That's what I was, is exactly that units? What I was looking for. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, was I, say, I, I, was I don't know. It seemed like a large point. number of buildings, so right. I just wanted to make sure that we're correct on that. Um, I'll have to check. That's I'm exactly sure that what I'm scanning. Like it scanning it for. Yeah. I got a feeling it's it's um, units simply because also if you look at the total number of affordable units, it's about eight. Uh, we're up to what eleven twenty one. Is that? Uh, I thought it was subsidized affordable. It was like eight hundred and something. So. I think we were trying to say number of units in X number of buildings. So we'll, we'll yeah, okay. correct yeah. that. Thanks for noticing. I saw that. the exact same. Yeah. Um, there are some minor little wordsmithing clerical things on the um, summary of Arlington's affordable housing accomplishments. Um, and just in the first paragraph, uh, about the fifth line down, uh, which begins an experience housing or would be experienced housing professional with recruit <coughs> this position. And that's in the first paragraph? First paragraph, uh, yep. about oh. the fifth line. I see it, thank you. And then um, to increase the effectiveness of the CDC, and I didn't know mm -hmm. if we had previously defined that Thanks term. Thanks for noticing that so. too. That's, a, that's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> when there's an acronym and it hasn't been explained before. Well, yeah, I try to keep up with all those acronyms, but so it's not the Center yeah. for Disease so Control. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Town strong record. Wait a is that's also on unaffordable housing Which accomplishments. Uh, and that's yeah. under, is it under is the is appendix. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you under item three? Uh, so no, it's it's in this. Um, one that has the heading Arlington's Affordable Housing Accomplishments. Oh, oh the accomplishments. It's an, a, oh, oh, an oh, oh, appendix oh. or an yeah, addendum yeah. to the letter. Uh, oh, yes, yes, at the very end, yeah. Got so it. It should say Community Development Corporation. Yeah. 
and my last comment on that was um, I think you know when we talk about inclusionary zoning it might be helpful to mention that the town's inclusionary zoning bylaw follows the same criteria or an approved criteria of the Commonwealth Department of Housing and Develop uh, THCD Department of Housing and Community Development so in other words the portion of median income for qualifying um, renters and what their rents would be. Um, I don't think it's critical, but it might be helpful just to point out that our inclusionary zoning bylaw is accomplishing the same type of, of goals that um, Ford B uh, is designed to help meet. And I think that's the gist of my comments. Uh, I'll quickly read Andrew's rewrite section eight, but Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I thought the, the edits looked good. Um, and the one I was scanning for was the 716 buildings, so I had the exact same notion on that. Um, the inclusionary zoning, uh, the one sentence in 2001 town meeting adopted inclusionary zoning, um, that, was a, that was a two step process, wasn't it? Wasn't it that I know, I know the development on Mill Street and Mass Ave did something that we we had done an inclusionary zoning bylaw and then I thought we tweaked it after that uh, to I make sure there was an adjustment to it after that I wonder whether that adjustment makes us look a little bit better as well because so your point would be if it does uh, if it was another policy step that the community took exactly to, to make sure housing. that okay. developments included include mm -hmm. included affordability I'll look into that um, but I'm pretty sure because so I remember two, from it would have been the year following that yeah. development right yeah yeah All whenever right. that development was in fact I wonder whether because that development may have been after 2001 I wonder whether it wasn't a six or more units at that point, whether it went down to, it may have been 10, and then, because they divided the 12 units into is, six each. Sims has the inclusionary zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that included in the 53? That does seem kind of low. How many, how many units do they have? 15, well, I mean, 15 town of the one, 300. Yeah, that's probably right. Total for the town. Yeah, because 15, per, no, we, what did we get in Sims? 20, 20, 20 units, 20. Uh, so 15% of the 250, or it's a total count. It's 174. So we got right? like 20, yeah. Yeah, and then we got more. more than 20. Yeah, it was so like 17 and half of that, 25. So that 25, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought so it was 25. 25, and then Brigham's was another? 119, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so yeah, that would be right. 11 plus, I don't know, maybe. Another five, so yeah, so between the two of those, it's 40 something. I would say 40-ish, yeah. Just back the envelope. And then 15 everywhere else, or probably. Yeah, it's probably about right. Carol's gonna double check it either. Yeah, 64 yeah. Mass Ave or a few. Yeah, directionally right, though. It's probably. Um, so that's the one thing I just check, because it seems to, I, I just remember <clears throat> that everyone at town meeting was fairly outraged that the developer kind of slipped one by, uh, I think is how everyone thought of it then, because they split, that's actually two condo associations, as far as I know, in that in that Mill Street uh, Mass Ave because to avoid the inclusionary zoning they split the Hutter place is no that no the one at the uh, at the, uh, the on Mass Ave on Mass Ave the the um, oh 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 the, the big town homes the more like the Beacon Hillish types yeah, yeah 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 I'm pretty sure that after that we took another run at it to make sure that it mm -hmm. stuck okay. so I guess I'd I'd Thank look you. at that as kind of more of our desire to get affordability in our developments. Um, just in reading this quickly, I think you just need a, a, a projected 2B at the very end, uh, 2B 1800. Uh, no, it's on the on the emailed uh, portion here, Carol. Just, just needs a, oh yeah, 2B 1800. Or not 2B. Or not exactly, <laughs> 2B or not 2B, exactly. <laughs> So, but those were my comments. I, I bet this will look good, so thank you. Okay, Andy. So just for my education, the comprehensive permit law, is that the same as what would be? Yes. If that's not clear, we should, oh. I mean, I think it'll be clear. To everybody else but me, it was clear, but 
I didn't know that it was also called the comprehensive criminal law. So if that's the right terminology, that's great. Um, just that sentence that begins although right at the beginning, mm -hmm. you might want to consider just making it two sentences. So Arlington developed densely, developed densely prior to the adoption of the 40B uh, and as a result, less than 10% of this housing is subsidized, if that's a correct statement. Mm -hmm. Period. However, the area believes the town will demonstrate that 1.5% of the town's land is used for subsidized affordable housing. Good. Mm -hmm. And the item one, I would just to avoid the apostrophe S after planning, just say the policies of the Commonwealth's own department conservation, recreation, planning. Identify that just together with the second policies. See what I mean? The policies of the common of the, the, the planning identify to move our land as a high priority for acquisition for conservation. Otherwise you'd have to say the Commonwealth's own Department of Conservation Recreation Plannings Planning, identify, okay, either way you want to do it, I think it's just better to. Policies, identify, either way, that's a minor one, I'd like to just put it up front. Thank you. All I'm saying is put policies of the Commonwealth Zone instead of putting it down here, but that's up to you. That's a cool word. Should we strike planning? I don't know if that's part of the title. Department of Conservation and Recreation Planning. Is it part no. of it? No, no, it's I supposed to be planning, planning policies. policies. But yeah, so I think you I think you would I, I agree with Andy. I mean I think it's stronger if you say the planning say the, policies yeah, the, sorry, or the, the planning policies. policies. The planning okay. policies of, of the, the Commonwealth's own Department, Department of Conservation, Conservation and Recreation identify, identify them. Yeah. It just sorry. that definitely hits it home better. Yeah. Yep. Good. And then the second, uh, the A of that same one, a parcel of model is almost entirely a, uh, The Department of Conservation and Recreation ranks the Mugar land as among the highest priority parcels for protection. That's only, I think that was, the only other one I have is, is I think it's probably okay, but on item five, it, it works its way down and then it says, the Arlington Housing Authority owns 700, Arlington has multifamily, also has multifamily zoning districts, so it's kind of making a case. Is there a therefore in there? No. No, it's this maybe just be, it's major houses. There's there got to be a better way of, of handling this. What what this is trying to do is point out that there are a lot of municipalities that actually don't allow apartments. Mm -hmm. That don't allow multifamily housing. It seems kind okay. of a no-brainer to so us. Okay. Yeah, the town the town zone allows and the town has permitted major housing developments oh, okay so what you what you're trying to say is mm -hmm. like I get it. in addition to the housing dense, corporation stuff what? there's third most dense or fourth most dense okay I'm not sure where we are on that we're, we're, we're in top ten there. yeah yeah we're definitely top ten in, in addition the other yeah da, 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 da. Arlington also has multifamily zoning districts Maybe that could say, in addition, the Arlington Housing Authority owns 716 units or whatever that's going to right. turn out to be factually. See, this is big because you're, you're, you're trying to establish that there are additional housing stock that other towns may not have, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and maybe we allude to it, but we're Aren't we, aren't we like top five dense, densest? Uh, Depending on how you measure it, whether okay. it's per capita or other metrics, we are right up at the top in right. terms of certain measures of density. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to point that out too? or? I think so. Uh, because one of the things about... Um, one We're of not the linking density two, is a... Two is acre, a, you know... That's right. Density is um, the foe. In a lot of municipalities, they're afraid of density, whereas Arlington has density yeah. and, and has historically had density. Can't be afraid of it. So 
Uh, wouldn't do us any good. Histor historically, Arlington has been among the densest communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Period. Um, in addition to the units owned by them, you know, something like that, or it, maybe it's at the end. Well, I, I think I think that's maybe what I'm thinking is that you could say. Yeah. I like what you just said. <coughs> um, over, what did you, you just said? Uh, over. Uh, um, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I should listen better, but not over the course of history. But you know, uh, Arlington has been one of the densest uh, population. Uh, yeah, traditionally, Arlington has been one of the uh, most dense, densely populated, populated. densely populated communities in the Commonwealth, uh, and uh, has uh, many multifamily zoning districts. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That works. So to hit home that point. And actually, I, I think I might start the whole thing with that. Right. Start that whole paragraph with it, That's and then I say, um, uh, um, and I don't think you need. I don't think you need the in, adi in addition to the units owned by the Housing Corp of Ar Corporation of Arlington. I think. Well, unless you're uh, saying. It, yeah, in, I don't in, in, in addition to these housing developments, well, no, see, you've already mentioned these somewhere right, else, right? Right. So I think you say um, you, you do that traditionally, and has uh, uh, has uh, several multifamily zoning districts. The town has approved and permitted two market rate multifamilies in 2013 and 2014, producing one hundred units respectively. Um, Including any zoning produced. You could say the, the, produced the forty. I mean. Why don't you put the number that yeah, it actually produced? produced because 40. I mean that's a lot. Inclusionary zoning produced X number 40 of affordable, affordable units, units at, at the, these projects. At the two projects. At these projects. I would say I would name the number of, pro of units that's been produced at each project. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Like yeah. twenty-five. Yeah. And point. is there anything that? Th no, this is in addition to yes. the aforementioned inclusionary blah blah blah. So mm -hmm. is that if that's true? And it, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to in make addition sure. to those, um, yeah, so forth above. Actually, because it's in it's in addition to both AHA and uh, mm -hmm. yes HCA, right? That's right. So that would be the last sentence. Okay, so it will start with the town approved and permitted. Or no, traditionally, it's traditionally. traditionally, Arlington is one of the most densely populated municipalities in the Commonwealth and has several multi-family zoning districts. The town approved and permitted two market rate multifamily developments in 2013 and 2014, producing 116 and 176 units respectively. Inclusionary zoning produced X number of affordable units at these projects. Right. Mm -hmm. In addition, the Arlington Housing Authority owns 716 no, units. No, how about so switching it around and saying these units are in addition, ah. these units are in addition to the 716 units. Um, Owned by the Arlington Housing Authority, and X number of units owned uh, or or managed by the Housing Corporation of Arlington. Right. Good. That way, you're tr trying to say what's new about this paragraph. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I think you've really hit home that you know we've got. Three very well, four if you count the CDBG too. Well, I guess that goes into HCA to some extent and, and AHA, but you've got three, three a three pronged attack here that's being very successful. Mm. Correct. Good. That's a big. Mm -hmm. These units are in addition to the. Okay. And that closes that paragraph. And then um, the only other one I had was, and this is a question for you. Under your parking, the egress, proposed access and egress, not parking, traffic, I mean, yeah. the traffic, do you want, do we want to put something about no additional new developments planned in Belmont will also? This is, yeah, okay, okay, that's, that's why it's not over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Carol sent it, but yes, we do, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Minutes after she Catching sent up. the original yeah. letter. <laughs> okay, then yeah. I'm all set. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, yeah, good. Or I just forgot about it. Yeah. I was writing up an edit to Perfect. that section when she emailed this out to all of us. Mm -hmm. so. that's, that's all I have.
just to, just to make sure. So do do we have a spot for um, Bruce's? We could. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet. Yeah. I, I like it. I like drawing attention to the fact that it's called the Great Swamp. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you want to put, you've got the Mugar land is maybe a top conservative priority thing. And then the town is strong record of supporting production of new deed restricted affordable units. I'm wondering if five should be where four is. So you follow right with affordable units, then you're saying they're also. Yeah, I like that. And then you put alternative development yeah, locations yeah. with previous development proposals. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. switch five and four. Yeah, for those yeah. Two yeah. Positions? I agree. Okay. Because five also, it makes sense to have that come right after well, three, at, right? Because those are sort yep. of mm -hmm. together, yeah. Good. Good. Well, actually, I wonder, so then I think I'd actually move four down two, where you've got previous development proposals. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I might, that's, that's where maybe we should add Bruce's. Mm. We could add mm. Bruce's history there to with to kind of like be the first three paragraphs and instead of previous development proposals, you know, brief history of okay, the history of these uh, of 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 the parcel. It's the history of the parcel. Brief history of the parcel. It's the history mm -hmm. of the parcel, not of the development proposal. Yeah, that's a little different, I think. So I, I, I would think maybe we put it on its own. You could add a new section. Well, that's what I was saying. Well, I was just going to include this last paragraph as the, uh, I'm sorry, this paragraph here as the last paragraph of something that said uh, brief history of the parcel. Oh, I saying. see what you're saying. So yeah. that would be the fourth paragraph oh, okay. since the 1980s. Yeah. Then rename it. Several. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So the new name would be brief history of of the parcel you. instead of previous development proposals. So then you incorporate at the end the previous development proposals paragraph. Right. And right, you incorporate that at the end. And then you could have so then it would then yeah, I think four, that, that works. four alternative development locations suggested should go after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That works because the town led to withdrawal of proposals because of flood elevation. You, did, you saw the Mugar site history outline. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Were you going to include that, or how are you going to do that? I was going to include that. Well, I mean, the other thing you could do, too, is add this as an I think that's. I think it's fine to have Bruce's history in the letter itself and mm -hmm. add this as right. uh, an attachment. An attachment mm -hmm. yeah. along okay. with. So let me review for me. We would be moving. So, four. yeah, you'd have one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then five is now four. Okay. Six is five. Okay. And six also changes its name to Brief History of the Parcel. Uh, right here. So six is becoming five. Five so the and new five it's is the new brief five history of, of the parcel, the parcel. Mm -hmm. and Bruce's history would be the first three paragraphs of that new five, and then the current paragraph would be the last paragraph, the fourth paragraph of that. Okay. okay. Does it work? Yeah, I'm just the only other thing I was just going to suggest is that last paragraph where we we're talking about the CSOs. We do already have. A section on that ten. Okay. So we may might want to you know take get rid of the third paragraph of my insert. It's a little technical, maybe. Too, yeah. You know? But mm -hmm. maybe take a sentence out of that that just explains what CSOs actually do, because I I think I mean it, it is technical, but I think it's worth explaining that it does combine rainwater runoff and sewage and industrial wastewater, so people get an idea as to what is going to be actually spilling over into the AOI floodplain. So what I'm suggesting is what Mike's, I Mike's idea with the first two paragraphs going into the new um, item five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Where do you want to put that third one? And then page? just take... I mean, we may already have most of that in, in, in ten. ten. Yeah. Why 
Well, maybe you know why don't we play around with ten to make yeah. sure it, yeah. it yeah. does add all it, of what you've got ten. in here? Just just to add a little bit of, of yeah. context as yeah. to what a CSO is yeah. mm -hmm. so into, ten. Yeah. into ten. Into yeah. ten. Fuse so. this paragraph with item ten. That's yep. right. But yep. first two paragraphs paragraph. go yeah. into the new five. Right. The current paragraph is the third paragraph, which is now called brief history of the parcel. Mm -hmm. And then the and then the current four is now six. Darn Roman numerals. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Four is now six. Yeah, four is six. Okay, so. Then, <laughs> so you got alternative development locations suggested to Oak Tree refused, and then you get into proposals contrary to smart growth. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. This existing paragraph under the old six, yes. which is now five, will actually be paragraph yes. three. Yes, three. Okay. Exactly right. Paragraph three. Okay, so on the page, the new numbering is six, yep. four, four five. five. Okay, yep. mm -hmm. got it. Yep, I think that looks good. Awesome. Okay. Are you assured that the Conservation Commission is submitting a good letter too. Yeah, oh good. So you won't you know, have to have your letter do all that work of um, mm -hmm. good. CSOs, floodplain. It's good for the board to mention it because all of that comes under planning. Mm -hmm. right? And I think it's also sort of great to have more than one voice kind of, you know, mentioning these these factors. So, you know, when, when you hear it from one source and it's being picked up from another source, it, there's a, a little greater emphasis to it. That's right, I agree. Thank you, folks, for putting that together. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. You're very welcome. And so this will, paragraph eight, you can ignore. Right, right. so you're going to do new paragraph eight from the email, right? Correct. Right. the best parts of the more technical description of CSOs and uh, make sure that's blended inserted, in yeah. blended in to item 10. Okay. And the affordable housing accomplishments will be in attachment to your letter as well as the timeline. So I will make all those changes and provide those to the Board of Selectmen for the board right. tomorrow morning. So okay. may I sign with the board? Like to consider having me sign for the chair, unless it's convenient for you to come in. I don't know. You don't. Is it necessary for you to come in just for that? You can sign my name. Okay. Yeah. So do we want a motion to, or are we good with it as is? I don't know whether we want to vote on it or not. Well, it's only a letter. Right. I mean, you know, I, I, I think, think they're really we've gone through it, so yeah. I don't think it's necessary. So, but I think that's fine. Moving on to an update on the central school lease proposal. Okay. So a uh, proposal was submitted to the Commonwealth for leasing to the two mental health agencies that have long called the central school their home. And Bruce, thank you very much for your help on the lease proposal, the rent proposal. We went with an approach that um, would have uh, about 10, 10 grand committed. Um, so and it's, it helps them because they get some additional 
improvements, though certainly not all of the improvements they saw in the proposal. It's just beyond our, it, I, I think it's beyond reason as well, because mm -hmm. it contemplates, it's a boilerplate right. proposal. Um, but it gives them some opportunity to get some improvements in their office space, and it also is um, kicks up the rent for the town. So long term, it's it's a good, it's slightly below market, but that's I think justifiable by the fact that you're in a building with a lot of other users. Um, so it's not the type of office environment that you would get, you would expect for market rate. So I think overall. Um, it's a good proposal. I, I have faith in it, and I, I'll keep you informed. Um, the deadline is the 12th, so we're in well under the deadline. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, That's I wanted to get it in before the last yeah. minute. So we, we will um, hear from them, and I'll let the board know what, uh, what the response is. You recall last time we worked on the proposal, and then um, without any communication we got, a lease for two years. <laughs> <Science>. <laughs> right, right. So there's no telling what we'll get, but yeah. um, it's it's been working for the town for a while, and uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that right. we'll be able to get. I don't know what our competition will be, but um, I think we're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Committee appointments status. Okay. Um, you know that a lot of the current committee openings kind of depend on getting the full board um, uh, appointed. But in the meantime, uh, I can report on a couple um, items of progress. Laura Wiener distributed, um, a, I would call it a slate of candidates for the Housing Plan Advisory Committee, which is a temporary committee to assist and advise with the housing plan update. Housing production plan, it is really called. So you, I think you have that before you. It's dated August 6th. Um, so you can contemplate that and, and consider acting on that tonight. Um, also, Andrew and I will um, be scheduling interviews with the redevelopment board candidates and then make recommendations to the town manager for uh, his consideration. He may, uh, I think it's likely that he'll want to interview the uh, finalists after we make our recommendations. And then, uh, once the board is appointed, we will be able to um, have the board consider who will serve on the Community Preservation Act Committee. And the master plan advisory, excuse me, the master implementation. plan implementation committee. Mm -hmm. So, do you have questions or, or on the housing plan staff recommendations? Did Laura speak to each of the candidates, or was this based more on just a review of resumes? She spoke with a um, good number of them. Mm -hmm. uh, couple of these people she's already she's already familiar with certainly she's familiar with Pam Hallett mm -hmm. um, she didn't know everyone so she did speak with the ones she was with whom she was unfamiliar and based the recommendations to the board on those conversations and I'm sorry once we make the recommendation what's the um, what's the notion um, that that's the committee at that point? Correct. Okay. If, from, my, from my perspective, if, the, if this is what staff wants, then I'm okay with it. I would say the same. Mm -hmm. Looks like a good move. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll move okay. that the uh, recommended um, applicants uh, be 
what do we want to say, appointed it to the Housing Client Advisory Committee, but has, has stated in um, the Assistant Director of Planning's August 6, 2015 memorandum. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anything else under that agenda item, Carol? No. Okay. That's all set. Thank you. Moving on to approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Bruce? I had only one item, and that's at the uh, first sentence, second paragraph. That reads, Mr. Finnell, turn to the next agenda item of the ARB's input to the Board of Selectmen, and I just thought it needed a little more definition there, so I was going to add regarding the proposed 40B development of the Mugar property adjoining Route 2 in East Arlington. I was still writing. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, no, Which no. paragraph, please? So, second paragraph. Okay. First sentence is just to define what that next agenda item was. Uh, and after, we're, instead of the period after Board of Selectmen turn that into, I guess, a comma and say, add regarding the proposed 40B development of the Mugar property adjoining Route 2 in East Arlington. Okay. Mike? Um, I think the only thing I have is on the <coughs> second page the first paragraph uh, where it says Mr. Kerr pointed out one applicant that could not be the town moderator's appointee. Actually, I think I, I was talking about Anne LaRoy who was a town meeting member and I think I said could be the town moderator's appointee. Could be the town moderator's okay. Because so I think we were going for not. two firsts. Yeah, yep. get rid of the word not. Because mm -hmm. I think we were thinking about, okay, who on the uh, Master Plan Advisory Committee, you know, who may not take is. up one of the the more at large seats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think is what I was thinking. You're right. I, that's my recollection as well. That was what I had. Good. Andy, you weren't here, but nope. Don't have anything. Okay, I have nothing else. Uh, I'll move to approve the minutes uh, of the July twentieth uh, meeting uh, as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do I? Staying with that right. One abstention. Any new business? Next meeting is next Monday, right? Yes. That's right. Yeah, what do, what do we you have an environmental design review for a large house addition that abuts the bike path. Uh, I have we got all the plans and everything? We do. Uh, you should be getting those those should be going out to you when actually Friday. Okay. Get okay. Them I believe you'll get them Friday afternoon. And it will include a director's report. Um, I think it's pretty, it will be pretty straightforward. At least my information, the information you get will be pretty straightforward. Are we expecting any other agenda items? Or not particularly. I have to look at my. Um, I think there might be something else. I'm looking at you because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's fine. I, 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 just, I was more curious. I than just kind of add things to it on my yeah. um, calendar, on my Outlook calendar. On, um, and something tells me there was another small item, but it, I don't anticipate that it will be a lengthy meeting. Do you want to talk about the ULI? Yes, item? thank you. Um, the Urban Land Institute is... Um, they will come into a community and do a charrette around an area. A charrette meaning almost like a, a very um, kind of a hit and run master plan. They bring in some top experts who um, will meet with stakeholders, will look at maps of the area, ask, um, work with the staff on input. And we've been talking to them about possibly doing one of these um, for Arlington Center. Um, mostly focus, you know, it started out focusing on Broadway Plaza, but I think it, we, we and they thought that it would be make more sense to expand it. 
to a larger area to think about circulation and um, other possible redevelopment opportunities. So parking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there. The third rail of Arlington. <laughs> what I, I need to try to ask the board is whether you think you'd have some availability in September. It would entail some um, daytime and at least a th one evening meeting. It would probably entail getting a joint meeting of um, the redevelopment board, board of selectmen, uh, and possibly the master plan implementation committee together. So it w we're talking about September, possibly October, but I think September is better. So that means that we've got to plan this quickly. Do you know whether your September schedules would preclude your participation, or it wouldn't? It w w would still be viable and valuable if it weren't the entire board. But um, Andrew I indicated that he would most likely be available to participate for the board. Do you think it's something we should proceed with? Um, does it sound like uh, September is a busy month, I recognize, but do you think that uh, you want to take this on, recognizing that the staff would do a lot of the administrative work? And do you use grant money for it, or how does it? It's pro bono. It's pro bono, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we might have to put a little bit of money in for um, uh, materials, materials and promotion okay. and that kind of thing, but um, it's not. And it will have a very focused uh, outcome, a very focused... Uh, yes, they would make recommendations. Um, whether there's a product, a hold-in-your-hand map, or sketches, I can't really say. But there would be recommendations. Um, but in the context of the master plan, too, I guess I, guess I wouldn't want to, after going through that whole process, I'd, I'd hate for someone new to come in and, and frankly change it up. You know, some of the, I'd, I'd wanted to coalesce mm -hmm. with I think that's what one it is of the that things they done. would have to do would be to look at the vision statement in the master plan yeah. and look at the goals for economic development and um, transportation, all of the things that bear on Arlington Center from the master plan. Yeah, I would it just would hate for there consistent. to be a contention, uh, you know, it, it to be, Kind of rubbing the wrong way after all I of the effort, especially if it's just kind of like a, you know, SWAT team in and SWAT team out, mm -hmm. you know, without all the context of many hundreds <laughs> of meetings. So yeah, yeah, many and dozens. And I of should meetings, also I should say, say that um, Mike Rademacher has uh, in the capital budget this year uh, an amount of money, not a huge amount, but some money to have kind of a planning effort around. Uh, it would basically be from Pond Lane to, I think, Jason Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just includes the area that we've identified that Urban Land Institute would pursue. If you want more, a little more information, I can get that to you and, and you can discuss it further because we're meeting next week. Let's do that. I would recommend doing that. I'd like to know what it is and mm -hmm. then be sensitive to what Mike is saying. But if that's all solved, yeah. to our satisfaction, then it sounds like it might yeah. be a good idea. Agreed, yeah. agreed. Yeah, I think if we could use that as a chance It does to have to fit in, depth. I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want it to go completely, you <laughs> know. No. <laughs> right. After 90 degrees. degrees of, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So we'll get some information into... Yeah, what, how, do the, how does it work? How do they normally do it? What's their scope and product? Mm -hmm. Process. It's a great institution, and it's a great thing we all like. So. Yeah, it is. So that I will um, pr either provide by email or um, at a minimum it will be in your packets for the weekend. Okay. Monday. Great. Okay, and that's all I have. Anything else? <laughs> all right. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.